Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous episode, we built a simple yet powerful automation using an 8N Telegram and Google Sheets, perfect for logging personal expenses with just a voice message or text. But as the saying goes, appetite comes with eating, so today we're taking it a step further. This time, we're adding a feature that could be the starting point of a real business-ready application. Automatic invoice registration from uploaded PDF, JPG, or PNG files using the same tools as before. With just a message in Telegram and a photo or scan of an invoice, our system will analyze it using AI and save the key data directly to Google Sheets, no manual typing required. All the essential tools you need to follow along, like setting up Telegram, Google Sheets, and OpenAI, were covered in the previous episode. You'll find the link in the video description and we'll also show it on screen in just a moment. Whether you're tracking private spending or managing documents for a small company, this next step is going to open up a lot of possibilities. Let's get started. Now let's dive into the workflow. We'll start by opening the project we built in the previous episode. The first step is to modify our existing switch node, the one that checks the type of input we receive. Until now, it handled only text and voice messages, which we used for logging spoken purchases. But now, we'll add to new output branches, one for PDF files and one for JPG or PNG images to make sure our switch node correctly identifies the input types. The easiest way is to simulate real input by simply sending different types of files directly in the Telegram chat and triggering our workflow with each one. When we test with a JPG file, Telegram actually gives us a few options for resolution. In our case, we always want to work with the highest quality image to get the most accurate results from the AI, so we select the best available resolution when sending the file. Once we've sent a JPG, a PDF, and even a voice message, we can look into the incoming data structure in N8N and configure our switch conditions properly based on file type or MIME type. This makes sure our automation responds exactly how we want, no matter what kind of message we send in. Next, we're going to add a Telegram get file node. This node allows us to retrieve the actual contents of a file that was sent through Telegram, for example, a PDF invoice. Once we have the file, we can prepare it for further processing by our AI agent, which will analyze the document and extract the key data we need. This step is crucial because Telegram doesn't send the file directly, it only sends a reference. The Telegram get file node uses that reference to download the file into our workflow, making it available for the next automation steps. To read the contents of the PDF file, we'll use a built-in and completely free node in N8N called Extract from File. This node is designed to automatically extract text from various types of documents, including PDF files. When we pass a PDF file into this node, it scans the document and pulls out all the readable text page by page, making it available as structured output in our workflow. This text will then be sent directly to our AI agent, which will analyze it and extract the key invoice information we're interested in. At this point, our AI agent isn't yet ready to interpret information coming from PDF or image invoices, at least not correctly. That's because the prompt we gave it earlier was designed only for simple, spoken purchase entries and it sends old data to the shopping Google Sheet. Now, we'll update the instruction for the agent so it can handle both use cases. But here's the important part, we're not going to change the Google Sheet configuration in the workflow itself. Instead, we'll tell the agent to automatically decide what kind of data it's receiving, whether it's a basic personal purchase or a formal invoice, and then, if it's a regular purchase, save it to the shopping Google Sheet. If it's an invoice, extract the relevant data and register it in the invoice's Google Sheet. 
This way, we keep the workflow simple and centralized and let the AI do the smart decision making based on context. The invoices sheet contains for key columns. Invoice date, when the invoice was issued. Invoice number, the unique ID of the invoice, supplier, who issued the invoice. Invoice amount, the total amount with the correct currency, for example, Euro, PLN. This structure allows easy and automated tracking of invoices. Let's update the agent prompt now. Our AI agent now works into clear steps. First, it scans the input and decides if it's an invoice or a regular purchase. Based on that, it tags the data for the correct Google Sheet, either invoices or shopping. Next, it extracts the exact information needed. For invoices, it pulls the invoice date, invoice number, supplier name, and the invoice amount. For regular purchases, it extracts the date, shop name, purchased items, and the cost. All monetary values are returned as plain numbers with the correct currency symbol, like 123.45 euro. No extra currency codes are included and decimals use a dot separator. Also, if the date is missing in purchases, it automatically uses today's date. This setup keeps the process smooth and automated. Let's test our automation. We'll start by sending a sample invoice file in PDF format, and then we'll enter a regular purchase manually. This will show how the system handles both cases seamlessly. As you can see, the AI agent correctly interpreted the invoice and saved the data in the invoices sheet. In the Telegram window, we can see the AI agent's response confirming the data extraction. At the same time, the corresponding Google Sheet is automatically updated with a new route containing the extracted information. This shows how smoothly the entire process works end-to-end. -end. To confirm everything is working correctly, let's add a new purchase to the shopping sheet by typing a simple purchase message in the chat with the bot. As you can see, the agent worked correctly, saving the purchase and the shopping sheet. Now we move on to the final step, implementing the recognition of image files containing imported invoices. We start with Telegram get file. This node retrieves the image file sent via Telegram chat and passes it to the next step in the workflow. Next is extract from file with the move file to base64 string option. Here, we convert the image into a base64 encoded text string, which allows us to transmit it through the workflow as data. The third node is convert to file. This does the reverse operation. It takes the base64 string and rebuilds it into a file format that our AI tool can interpret. Finally, we use OpenAI Analyze Image. This is where our AI agent analyzes the image, extracts the invoice data, classifies the entry, and saves the information to the correct Google Sheet. In the OpenAI Analyze Image node, we add a custom prompt to guide the AI in extracting invoice data from the image. The prompt tells the AI it's looking at a photo of a paper invoice. It should carefully read the text and return exactly for fields. Invoice date, invoice number, supplier name, gross amount with currency. In the text field of our AI agent, we add this fallback expression, text or message, text or content. This helps the agent read input correctly whether it comes from a typed message, a PDF or extracted text from an image. Now we're testing our automation to see if the robot can correctly recognize an invoice in JPG format and import the data into the Google Sheet.
The agent correctly recognizes our invoice files. After each verification, we receive a message in the Telegram chat showing exactly which data from the invoice was saved to Google Sheets, so there's no need to open the spreadsheet to check if it worked. And that's it for today's episode. We've just taken our automation to the next level, building a smart system that not only logs simple purchases but also extracts invoice data from both PDFs and images and stores it all in Google Sheets. All powered by N8N, Telegram, and AI. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps and motivates us to create more tutorials like this. Got an idea for the next step? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.